Tekken and so bad at Virtua Fighter that like I can't do anything. I can't do anything in the game yeah, at all. Makes you feel better. I can't do anything at Tekken. I was looking for my combos and all I could do was Mortal Then I go to Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I'm not very. I'm not good at those, but I can button mash. Tekken and Virtua Fighter. I'm so bad that I can't use the game at all. Like, okay. Dead Tekken or Alive, two. I can play. Dead or Alive I'm not Dead or, good. Dead or Alive 2 is the best. I, I, the best I'm not good at it, but I, I, I feel fairly comfor comfortable. I'm not. I never set up. I'd rather I, just play Mortal Kombat. It's, it's an easier good. game. You can just no, kill anyone. Me, me and our friend Greg Farrell, you know Greg, played Tekken 2 a lot. Like, and this is back you know, on the PlayStation 1. And uh, it just got to the point where me and him were playing and he couldn't ever beat me because he isn't that, isn't that great at fighting games. And I, I, well, I would just pick Paul over and over again. Because <laughs> that's what you did in Tekken 2. And uh, he would like keep changing characters and then he got really pissed off because I would do the one, you just punch him and they go across the screen and you attack him and it's game over. And he was like, oh, you can't do that anymore. And I was like, okay. And so I started doing a different combo. And he was like, you can't do that anymore. He, he you can't do that anymore. All of Paul's moves, to where all I could do are normal punches and normal kicks and counterattacks. Yeah. And you still won. And so I, st I still was beating the crap out of him, like like oh, flawless yeah. victory, because he would try to hit me and I would like grab it and throw him on the ground, and he would get really really mad. And at that point, he swore off fighting games forever. You fast forward to uh, to Jason. What, what's the Jason who's super nerdy? The one who I will never cross because he will. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's back whenever him and Greg lived together, and it was like, I forget what game it was. Game. It was a fighting game. It was like Soul Calibur 2 or something like that. Oh, okay. so and, he, and he was like, he was like, he was like hey, Greg, come, come down here and play this. He was like, man, I don't play fighting games. And he was like, come on, just, just play a couple rounds. And like, like, Greg went down there, picked up the controller, and like lost twice in a row, and like threw the controller off the room. was like, oh. <laughs> like was just inconsolably angry. So I, I've ruined his life because of uh, Tekken. Tekken has a mechanic that I really, really don't like. Can actually catch people in combos where the, they don't hit the ground, but they don't like land on their feet either. Yeah. It really kind of sucks because you can't do anything when somebody's just like it, all it takes is just punch them in the face a whole bunch and they don't land and they don't come back to their feet. <laughs> it really sucks. Well, pretty much every fighting game has some kind of juggle. Just bullshit juggling. Yeah. It's. Somewhat hard but to do like, Mortal Kombat. Like pretty balanced Mortal that out. Mortal Kombat and Soul Calibur work slightly differently. Like, you can block in some of those games. Yeah, or you, you have... can, like, knock yourself over in at least one game. Yeah, because in Mortal Kombat, if you get hit times, you have the blocker, which as soon as they hit you, will, you will automatically attack them. And plus, like, when you're, like, they're juggling you up or something, they have limits to three times and such. Yeah. And they nerf juggling so hard. And then Soul Calibur, it's the same thing, you just do the counterattack on that I always liked the weapons in Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur was awful, awesome. it had Soul the Calibre. weapons, and it always had that one random character. Because Yoda just kicked ass, you can't hit him. He's em. filming us. I actually don't yeah. care for the random character sometimes. And Spawn was awesome. Spawn was, was awesome. kind of lame. No, but Spawn, 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 Spawn was Spawn. Well, 50 well. times better than fucking, what was his name, Necron or whatever? The the guy that was that they put in just because. Oh no, 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 that's the guy that was created by Tom McFarlane, yeah. the most creative person on the face of the planet. I love Tom McFarlane because he's not a complete and total hack at all. <laughs> Necron was awesome. Like Spawn, owned. Like recent Spawn is awesome because Tom McFarlane is just such a genius. Um, and I, I really think that Necron is the best thing that ever. I mean, I think that's why Soul Calibur still around because yeah. Necron was in the game. I mean, he, he totally belonged. He fit into the game. Great. Yeah. The storyline, he just slid right in. Like, it was like, like ev everything about him made sense. Yeah. And, that, that's and the character design, like, really really fit in with all of the other characters. Well, like, it, what it was I solid. Like, what I like most World about the, the Necron World character piece. design Soul and <laughs> pretty much everything Tom McFarlane's ever done is that it doesn't at all... Remind Richard, me of a twelve-year-old girl Richard, who's angry Richard, at her dad. Richard. Like that's yeah. the that's the best part. Now, like, like, talking like, about the PS3 Xbox. Like it, 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 it doesn't it, it doesn't sectors. feel like it's this, just yeah. someone who's gotten mad at their dad and has gone and painted their fingernails black and listens to the Cure. That doesn't like that that kind of person who would just you know dress in all black and wishes they were a vampire and Todd McFarlane don't even belong in the same room. <laughs> 